a young Colville boy involved with a very grown-up murder plot will now be spending his preteen years behind bars. It's a story that made headlines around the world. Back in February, two fifth graders, ages 10 and 11, were accused of bringing a gun and a knife to school so they could kill a fellow student. KXY 4's Kylie Cruz was in the courthouse today for the 10-year-old sentencing. She joined us now live in the studio with those details. Kylie. And good evening, Nadine. Back in April, the young boy surprisingly pled guilty to a trio of charges. Now today in court, prosecutors described him as dangerous, while the defense argued the boy needs treatment and help. Judge listened to both sides and sentenced the 10-year-old to three to five years in juvenile detention. A 10-year-old Colville boy who's been in and out of this courtroom for months now knows where he'll be spending his junior high years, and they won't be in Colville. Here this afternoon for sentencing. Today, the defense argued for a two-year sentence and said the murder plot was a cry for help, more than a plan for action. Prosecutors hope to put the boy away for five to six years, saying he isn't a monster, but what he planned to do was monstrous. And for the first time, we heard from the mother of the girl who was at the center of the plot. As far as sentencing goes. I don't know what the right thing is. I don't think two years is long enough for what you wanted to do to your classmates. The victim's mother went on to say she forgives the boys and so does her daughter, but she finds their actions incredibly sad and heartbreaking. And if you two boys had had your way, she would have never grown up. She would have never got to the chance to make any of her dreams come true. And before the judge handed down his sentence, we heard from the young defendant. Like my dad said, he's sorry, and I'm also like sorry because like I know that this is a bad thing that I've. The boy, clearly very emotional, had some trouble putting together his words. This is not a usual thing for a person my age to do. He won't be hanging out on the playground with his buddies like most 10 year olds. Instead, he'll be spending his preteen years in juvenile detention. Now that 10 year old boy could be placed on parole after serving three years of his sentence. Now he'll be housed at Echo Glen Children's Center in Snoqualmie. Now as for the 11 year old boy also involved, his case still pending a mental evaluation. Kylie Cruz, KXLY4.